Right, question number 16, we're getting there. And let's, uh, this is a nice algebra question. So we're going to make t the subject. So you can see we've got t here and t here. Um, and we want to have a t equals at the end. So standard kind of approach to this is get rid of the denominator of the fraction. So multiply by t minus 3 gives you k. t minus 3 is equal to 2t plus 3. First step. Now I'm going to multiply the brackets because I want to get anything that's got a t, any expression that's got a t in it on the left hand side, and anything that doesn't have a t in it on the right hand side. So let's get rid of these brackets. Uh, I'm going to have kt minus 3k, uh, and that's going to be equal to 2t plus 6. So I've just expanded the brackets. Now I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to get this expression to the left, and I'm going to get this expression to the right. So I'm going to have kt minus 2t is equal to, this was minus, so it's going to be 1 plus, 3k plus 6. And then I'm going to factorise if I can. So it doesn't really matter about the right-hand side, but I can factorise it. Uh, 3k plus 2. And on the left-hand side, I want to factorise in t, and this is the really special bit. So at the moment we've got two expressions of t in it. When we factorise, we're going to have just one t visible, k minus 2. And that allows us to find our t equals equation, because we're now just going to divide through by this bracket here. So we're going to get our 3k plus 2 on top, and on the bottom we're going to get k minus 2. And now we have t to be the subject. Now that's quite a nice question for four marks. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's, every question is pretty similar. That This type of question always follows the same method. Multiply across, and expand everything, collect what you want on one side and what you don't want on the other, factorise, and then divide.